All right, what's up? What's up? Today we're doing some more of this, and we have the Horror 200 Movies box set. This is from Mill Creek. Uh, it honestly has a lot of, like, old classics. Uh, well, kind of some old classics, but it also has uh, just a lot of garbage in this. A lot of, like, straight-to-video kind of nonsense. Now, before we actually start writing anything down, I just want to make sure all the discs are in here. Does this booklet actually just have... Yeah, this book just actually has all the movies right here on the side. We're going to go off this... Hold on, are both sides the same? No, they're not. We're just going to go off the side of the box. It's going to be a little bit easier to type with than the booklet. Uh, also, I have seen about half of this box set. Um, I decided I was going to go through all of them, and I, I think I got to like disc 10 or something like that. So we're going to be checking with uh, IMDb what we've seen. But anyway, there is 50 discs. And I, like I said, I think I got to 10. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. I just want to make sure they're all here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. You know what's funny is, is like, check this out. They did this with some of them. So they had... You know, it's got the little label on it, and then they would have this, um, <laughs> which is just, I don't know why they, they designed it like that. Why would I not put the label on all of them? Uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. They actually did quite a few of them like this. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. They're all here. Now, this is actually a pretty good deal. This box set was 20 bucks. It was either 20 or 30. I can't remember, to be honest with you. But it wasn't very much, is the point I'm getting at. You got all these. They also did it for, like, drive-in cult movies, uh, a western set, and a war set. Unfortunately, I bought the horror set and then was never able to find any of the other sets. So... I have only the horror. Now I'm trying to figure out where's a good place to sit this <laughs> so I can see it. I'm going to move my coffee. Move my coffee up here. So take a sip. Bloop. All right, our first movie is Alien Zone. This might take a while, just as a heads up. We might not get through all this today because I'm actually wanting to do some other things this morning. So we might not get through it today. Uh, 1970, I'm going to assume The House of the Dead is also considered alien zone like i said a lot of these were pretty bad a couple of them are really good though let's pass through the alien zone or house of the dead uh i'm i'm gonna still write it as alien zone because that's what it is on the thing i own it on 1978 dvd no if the video and stuff seems a little choppy i apologize i am rendering out a large video so Tales of Terror 200 Movie Collection, Mill Creek. Mill Creek 200, baby. Uh, the Amazing Mr. X. I also do want to keep an eye on um, the bitrate, because I've been having some bitrate issues with Twitch here recently, so I want to keep an eye on that, too, and hope that that's not an issue. Because obviously I want to upload this later, right? Which has been in like, yeah, for some reason, like, my internet and Twitch have just not gone along together. I don't know if I just need upgrading my internet stuff. Like, my router is like six or seven years old. And there, it just dropped out. You know, my router's pretty old. It's like six or seven years old at this point. My uh, Wi-Fi card is older, too. It's like going on like five years old, so maybe I just need to upgrade that stuff. But it's only on Twitch. Like, if I stream on YouTube, I have no issues whatsoever. Obviously, like I said, it's going to be a little bit of choppy video because of the heavy rendering, but that wouldn't affect my internet. <laughs> you know, that would just affect my CPU. 
Uh, the Amazing Transparent Man. I guess they did a TV show based off of this. I have seen this one. Haha, I gave it a four. What year is that from? 60? This is going to take a while, like I said. Anatomy of a Psycho. Like I said, some of these I've seen, some of them I haven't. The thing that's kind of annoying is, is I don't think... I don't think the discs tell you what's on the disc. Oh, they do. Never mind. I was like, because it could be kind of annoying because they're just an alphabetical in the box and the discs aren't, they don't package them alphabetically in the discs. 1961. <clears throat> Have I seen this one? Yep. It does come with uh, one of the classics, uh, Manos, the Hands of Fate or whatever, that is in this box set. So that's kind of fun, right? The Ape I've seen. So no, let me find it. <laughs> I can't wait for the new Planet of the Apes. I'm a little concerned just because of the fact that it's not um, Matt Reeves directing it, but we'll see. <clears throat> they made the... I haven't seen this. Okay. They made the text on it so small to see, like, what year and stuff it is. Not for my old eyes. You know what I mean? I'm so glad I can autofill in. I guess you could always copy and paste it, right? Adam Age Vampire. That is a cool title. <laughs> you know, th these are movies you'd see, basically, Vinegar Syndrome put out. <laughs> Um, Attack from Space. I think they might have did a sci-fi box set, too. They did a couple of them. Attack of the Mutant Dick from Outer Space. Uh, I want to see what's this one. Oh, yeah. I've heard of this movie. Le well, at least the poster looks familiar. Attack of the Giant Leeches. Have I seen you? No. My bitrate's been in the red this whole time, but it's very rarely dipped down to zero. So, that's good, I guess. What's up, 50? What's up, bull? Why is chat not up here? Oh, because it's over here. It be over here. Where's it at? There we go. What's up, bull? Uh, and then it just dropped. As soon as I said something about it not dropping, as soon as I said something about it not dropping, bull, it dropped. I don't understand, like, why. Like, what's going on with Twitch. It's really annoying, though. Uh, the Bat. Is that it? Because it's saying... It's starring Ken Clark. No, the Vincent Price. Ken Clark was the one above it. 59. I guess most of these I haven't seen yet. Alright, where was I at? The Beast of Yucca Flats. Oh, 1.9. Yikes. Yikes. Alright, my video's almost done rendering out. Maybe it'll go a little bit smoother once it's done. Bell from Hell. It's a cool title. Bull, if you're still in here, what kind of movies are you into? Black Dragons. Can't type. The Blancheville Monster. Cool sounding title. Blood Sabbath. I thought Black Sabbath came in this. But it's not as Blood Sabbath. Yeah, I thought Black Sabbath came in this box set. I know White Zombie does. Look at the poster on IMDb for this. That's funny. I have seen this one. Do I remember it? Nope. It's going to be the case with a lot of these, because a lot of them aren't very good. Bloodlust. I think there's a remake, or a, another movie with that same title. Several. What well, one's this one, then? 1959? Alright, that's done. So now things should be moving a little bit smoother in terms of... In terms of uh, GPU, but in terms of stream... The stream uh, quality, I don't know. I wonder... Mm, probably can't because where I'm streaming. I was wondering if I dropped the uh, drop the quality like 720, how much if it runs smoother for me. So yeah, I don't know. Quite a bit of lat latency behind where I'm at. Anyway, I'm gonna assume it's probably this one. You know, this is 61. The box is 59. Robert Reed, right? Yeah, I'll see ya. Uh... Oh, Robert Reed. Okay, it is this one. Um, bloodlust with an explanation point. Better get that explanation in there, boy. Bloody brood. Okay, I haven't seen this one. 1959. Bloody pit of horror. What a title. I've seen this one. <laughs> okay. What's up, Moise? Hey, just saw your silver video. I feel slivers is a good spot to be the current meta for Popper. I'm debating taking it to 2K this weekend. I mean, yeah. I, I still like the deck. Uh, I'm going to play it more. 
if Twitch doesn't, first off, let me ask you, how's the stream, like the, uh, you know, is it real choppy? Because for some reason, the past week, Twitch and my internet have not seen eye to eye and have been arguing with each other a lot. So first off, how's that? Secondly, what's up, Moist? Haven't talked to you in a minute. Uh, and then thirdly is uh, I'm going to play more Slivers. I want to play more of it. Uh, felt good against Ponza. Um, felt pretty good against Ponza. So we'll see. If you do take it to the 2K, though, you'll have to let me know how you end up doing with it. Also, I'm kind of jealous you have like 2Ks and stuff around you. Jealous. Uh, Bluebeard? I don't imagine it's the one from 2009. I imagine it's probably the one from 1972. Whew, two hours and five minutes for that one. Oh, no, this one's from 1944 with John Carradine. Oh, there it is. An hour and 12 sounds more like... That's another thing, is a lot of these movies in this box set are pretty short. You know, they're pretty pretty short. Little jaunts. Body Beneath. I'll probably exclude any of these from 31 for 31 in the future. I don't know. I haven't decided. I haven't seen this one. <clears throat> the brain that wouldn't die but first I guess the body oh no yeah, the body beneath so the brain that could I lost it that wouldn't die 1962 not seen it but I mean this looks cool tales of terror <clears throat> a bucket of blood it calls this place the Bucket of Blood. I'm going to assume it's this one from 59. Yep. That one's actually got a decent rating at a 6.7. Some of them are actually, like, decent. But the amount you have to sift through out of this box set to find the decent ones. It's a little one-sided. Now we got these Bulldog movies. Bulldog Dumdrum comes back, escapes Africa, escapes in Africa, peril... Revenge and Secret Police. Bulldog Drumdemon comes back. It must be like an old like movie series. Like an old uh detective series or something. Bulldog escapes. They're not horrendously rated. <laughs> I'm not gonna dr dr I'm not a good person to judge the stream on because one, I'm on mobile and two, ninety nine percent of the time I have you're in my pocket while I work listening to you. Oh, no worries. I get that. No biggie. Just curious. Yeah, for some reason, like, Twitch and my internet, like, the bit rate just dips out. Like, has been, since last Friday, really, since last Friday, has been dipping out like crazy on me. Which is really annoying. Also, I thought you would be dual broadcasting uh, Twitch, I mean, since Twitch changed TOS to allow it. Yeah, so... I'm working on that. <laughs> Basically, that's my answer to that. Um, I have to look into one, how you do it for free because everything I've seen so far, you have to pay for a program and I'm not really looking to like pay for a program right now. What was I looking at? Oh yeah. I was trying to find the sequels um, in Africa. So yeah, I need to like find a, like a, a an affordable, not affordable, a cheap <laughs> not even cheap a free sorry it's hard sometimes to type and talk a, a free way to do it um so yeah I'm, I'm still looking into it i do like the fact they changed their tos though i think that's good i think they needed to it's starting to become way too many competitors to twitch for them to be like yeah you can you know what you can just stream on everything makes sense to do it that way but yeah, once I kind of get it figured out, I, I totally will. I'll dual stream. Because that's another thing is I need to figure out how to get like inner, um, integrated chat. Because I probably, if I actually set up to dual stream, I'll probably dual stream not even just on YouTube and Twitch. I'll probably look at the other, the other ones too. There's six of these Bulldog movies on here. But yeah, I'll look at like streaming on both, both of them. Oh, well, not on both, but on like on more. And then secret police, right? 39. Um, let me fix this. 
Carnival of Souls. I actually think I have on Blu-ray. Yeah, I actually think I have Carnival of Souls on Blu-ray. Let me see the... Yeah, I think I have this on Blu-ray. I think. Did Arrow put this out? I don't know. I'll check out later. Um, DVD... Nope. That one's pretty highly rated. 7 out of 10. A traumatic accident. A woman becomes drawn to a mysterious abandoned carnival. I bet it's not really abandoned. Most of these movies, too, are also on, like, free streaming services. So if any of them, like, you know, piques your interest, <laughs> they're out there. <laughs> they are out there. Uh, the corpse vanishes. Bella Lugosi. Is Bella Lugosi the one that, um... He was the one that, uh... What's his face? Ed Wood was obsessed with, right? Was that Bella Lugosi? I don't remember. Easy way to find out. Yep, Plan 9 from Outer Space. The movie Ed Wood was really good. The movies of Ed Wood. Hmm. He didn't live super long. 1924 to 1978. Anyway. Where was I at? This. No, I've not seen this. Corpse Vanishes. Count Dracula and his Vampire Bride. Christopher Lee. Nice. Dracula and his Vampire. Let me guess. The Satanic Rites of Dracula is actually... Yeah, I bet you anything. Also, it's so weird how many of these old movies have different names. Cause I've actually heard of the Satanic Rites of Dracula. But Dracula is Vampire's wife or whatever. Count Dracula and his Vampire's wife. Vampire Bride I've not heard of. But the Satanic Rites of Dracula I have. Uh, I was wondering if there was like a alias. Eh, I mean, we saw the other poster. That counts. So, Count Dracula and his vampire bride. In 74. I know the IMDb says 73, but the box says 74. So I'm going to say 74. Creature from the Haunted Sea. 3.4. Oh, those are like the best ones. Cause it's just like, ugh. What year are you from? 61. I have not seen it. I don't know how far we're going to get through this box set. But I'd like to get most of the way through it. Crimes of the Dark House. 1940. I have seen this one. I gave it a 5 out of 10. It must not have been that bad. I wondered how many of these though. Because I, I did like, I was burning through them. Like all back to back. So I wasn't like, I was just going through disc through disc when I was doing it. Like I said, I didn't get through all of them. So I wonder how many of these were just like not as offensively bad as some of the other ones. So I would just give it a higher rating. Uh, the Crimes of Stephen Hawk or Stephen Hawk. What do you do? Like run over people with a steel chair or something? 1936. Damn. It's old. Actually, I don't know if I've seen this one. I had not. Crucible of Horror. Another really cool title. Crucible is just a cool sounding word. I have seen this one. I gave it a 5 out of 10. Do I remember anything about it? Nope. Oh, Curse of the Bigfoot, I remember. Curse of the Bigfoot, I do remember. Because it is horrendously bad. It's not even one to pull up on IMDb. IMDb is like, don't, don't look this up. There it is. Yup. Look at the Bigfoot. This is like the Bigfoot's face. I'm not even joking. And they actually show you this like multiple times of being like, isn't this scary? No. <laughs> no, it's not. Not even close. Oof. 1.8 on IMDb. I gave it a 1 out of 10. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it was really bad. Unfortunately, I've seen this one. All right. Um, Dead Men Walk. Some of these titles are really good. 1943. I'd say if we get through half of this, I'd be happy. You know, we're working our way through here. Death in the Shadows. All right. I have our time finding this one, I guess. Is it D. Peruwi? 1985. Yep. It's D. Peruwi. And I've seen this one. Oh, actually, no, yeah. I do remember this poster now. 1985. Tells of Terror. Death and Shadows. Death Rage. Not Death Race, but Death Rage. We're raging at the death here. I'm assuming it's this one. Yeah. 
with Yule Brenner. All right, this looks cool. This looks like it might be fun. 1976. 1976. DVD. Nope. Death Warmed Up, I have seen. This is also... Uh, has a nice collector's edition from Severn Video. Uh, it's not a good movie. <laughs> it's not a good movie at all. But it is a really cool poster. Like, that's a cool poster. I don't care who you are. That's Q. Um, yeah, it's not a very good movie. But if you want a cool collector's edition or a cool, like, restoration, uh, Severn, not sponsored, but I enjoy what they do. I haven't kept up with them for a while, but they did do a cool release of it. So you can check that out if you want to. Dementia 13. This is not spelled correctly. Uh, this is a movie by, what's his face? Uh, Francis Ford Coppola that I actually own on Blu-ray from Vestron Video. I'm going to include it here right now just because... Um, I want to be able to tell that I have the full 200 on here. And then when we go later to go through the list, I can condense the Dementia 13 releases. The Demon. Why do I feel like this is going to be hard to actually track down what this movie actually is? What is this black demon with a shark? Um, 1979 with Cameron Mitchell. Oh, right here. A 3.7. Based on the Mexican legend, nature bites back. I don't know what it is with shark movies, why they have to make, like, the worst movies, but... <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, anyway. The Demon I'm Not Seen, a nice 3.6. Then we got Detour from 1945 with Tom Neal. Is this the movie that Criterion put out? Didn't Criterion put... Oh my god, Criterion did pull this out. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> That's how you beat the system. <laughs> we didn't have to buy the Criterion release because we have it on this 200 pack for the cost of one Criterion. And we get 199 other movies. Hell yeah. Woo! Beat the system, boy. What was it doing? 1945. <laughs> See? There's some movies in here. <laughs> there's some movies in here. I just realized I'm getting buried by chat. Let me scoot me up here. Uh, anyway... The Devil Bat. I think I've seen that one. Again, cool title. Bella Lugosi. The Lucy Goosey Bagusi. The Bella the Bella Bagusi. The Bella Lugosi. I have not seen this by the way. <laughs> I've heard of this though. Devil Times 5. People Toys. People Toys is a cooler sounding title. Let's be real here. Leaf Garrett. Yep, Leaf Garrett. Let's be honest, People Toys is a way cooler sounding title than Devil Times 5. Way cooler sounding title. The Devil's Hand. Uh, I'm going to assume the 61, but it could be Carnival of Sinners too. 62 with Robert, Robert Alda, so it's this one. I mean, that's a cool poster. Some of the posters they did for these old shitty horror movies is just like it's artiste, you know what I mean? Good poster. We should do more stuff like that today. Um, the Devil's Messenger. So we're in the Devil's category here of this box set. Lon Chaney? Yeah. Okay. Not saying that makes the movie any better, but it's definitely a name I recognize. Uh, The Devil's Nightmare. What do you think The Devil Has Nightmares about? Okay, it is this one. I've seen this. Oh, wait, I know this movie. This movie has a ripper of an opening song. Hold on, I'll pull it up in a second. Yeah, I actually want to get this on Blu-ray. Uh, give me a second. I think it's this one. Yeah. This slaps. Listen to a little bit of this. I've actually listened to this a lot outside of the movie. I actually forgot what the movie was called. <laughs> Let me, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. From Alessandro, Alessandro, <laughs> what a name, Alessandro Alessandroni, Alessandro Alessandroini, Alessandro Alessandro, oh, god damn that, I can't, my, 
my hillbilly mouth can't pronounce that. Alessandro, it's Alessandro, Alessandronini. <laughs> Devil's Nightmares, the main titles. Excellent, ex- excellent opening song. Uh, the movie's actually halfway decent. It's got a good amount of atmosphere to it. I remember actually enjoying this one quite a bit. But that opener, boy, is a banger. And I, if I remember right, too, it's actually got some pretty good cinematography in it. Devil's Possessed. Oh, it's a Paul Nietzsche, or however you say his last name. I've seen it, and I gave it a three. There's some of these old horror movies that have amazing scores. I got one bangs. Uh, I watched Dario Argento's Inferno the other day, and the opening song to that, not the opening song, but the the menu song is the Mother Tenenbaum song. Just is a ripper of a song. And then uh, I really like the entire score pretty much to uh, um, Alice, Sweet Alice, which is actually a really good movie. I really like Alice, Sweet Alice. If you're not seeing Alice, Sweet Alice, uh, I definitely recommend it. I don't own it yet. I will at some point because I did like it quite a bit. Anyway, uh, Dr. Jackal and the Werewolf. I'm pretty sure I've seen that one. And the Werewolf in Mrs. Osborne. <laughs> Is it is it Jackal versus the Werewolf? Okay, it's Jackal versus the Werewolf. It's a little bit different titled here. I have seen that, and yeah, I did not like it. Uh, I'm going to leave it as what it is on the box. Like I have been doing, we're going off of what the box says, not necessarily what IMDb says. Uh, don't answer the phone. I have seen that one too. I'm very sure I have. 1980. There's a couple of like good movies in here. This isn't one of them, I don't think, but um like there's a we'll get to them. How about that? We'll, we'll just when we get to them, we'll talk about them there. If I had seen that one. I thought so. Okay. So that's the first 50, right? 1952. I mean, uh Where's my phone? Where's my phone? We'll do the math. I just want to make sure we didn't we're like because of how this is laid out, so 1601 minus 1552, 49, uh-oh, we missed one. All right, Alien Zone, yes, Mr. X, yes, The Amazing Turn Man, Psycho, Vampire from Space, Attack of the Giant Leeches, The Bat, the Beast of Yucca Flats, the Bell from Hell, Black Dragons, The Monster, Blood Sabbath, Blood Lust, The Bloody Brood, Bloody Pit of Horror, Bluebeard, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That goes down to Carnival of Souls, Corpse Vanishes, Count Dracula and His Bride, Creature from the Sea, Crimes of the Dark House, Crimes of Stephen Hawk, Crucible of Horror, Curse of Bigfoot, Dead Men Walk, Death in the Shadows, Death Rage, Death Warmed Up, Dementia 13, The Demon, Detour, Devil Bat, Devil Five Times, The Devil's Hand, The Devil's Messenger, The Devil's Nightmare, The Devil's Possessed, Dr. Jackal, Don't Answer the Phone. Huh, is there only 49? There's 50. What? What? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <sighs> I messed up. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, doomed to Die. Again, great title. A lot of these have uh, great titles. Doomed to Die. Doomed to Die. Sounds like a Danzig song. We're all just doomed to die. I say we're all doomed to die. It's kind of Danzig-y, right? Uh, Double Exposure is actually a really cool movie that I think Vinegar Syndrome put out. I remember liking Double Exposure, though. I don't think it's got a very high rating, but I think I gave it kind of a high rating. Yeah, I gave it a 7. It's got a 4.9. I really enjoyed Double Exposure. I thought this was good. I'd watch this again. It's free on the Roku channel. But I'm pretty sure Vinegar Syndrome put out Double Exposure on uh, Blu-ray, which I wouldn't mind getting, honestly. Some of these, though, like, 
death warmed up like i don't need to get death warmed up on blu-ray <laughs> like this fine in this i honestly double exposure is probably fine just owning on this set like i probably don't need the vinegar syndrome release you know what i mean jekyll mr hyde that same one no the one i got is from 1920 what is there like a million of these fucking things the dr jekyll mr hyde's this one won an oscar can i have this one i'd rather have this one this one won an oscar yikes look at that as the stuff of nightmares, my friends. Uh, the one I have stars John Barrymore. So, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Probably help if I spell Mr. Hyde right, right? There it is. 6.9 is not bad. Not for a movie from 1920. I'm not saying movies can't be good from back then, but like, you know, a movie lumped into this box set kind of thing. Dr. Tar's Torture Dungeon. That is a title. Is it? Claudio Brook, yeah. And the Mansion of Madness. I I like Dr. Tar's Torture Dungeon more than the Mansion of Madness. <laughs> a lot of times it's been the opposite, where I've enjoyed the title. From, it said 72 on the box, and I said, I've been inconsistent with IMDB or the box's release year. I know. But it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, Doctor. A lot of the time, the IMDb title is cooler than the box title. But Doctor Tar's Torture Dungeon kind of cooler. Uh, Dressed to Kill. Um, 1946. I'm gonna try to get this one side done, and then I'll play some magic. Try to speed this up a little bit. Drive In Massacre. Sounds fun. Clearly in Ohio. I mean, <laughs> not in Ohio. I was gonna say clearly in the United States. Um. Jake Barnes, right? Yeah, Jake Barnes. I don't see a Jake Barnes on here, though. This is technically two years beforehand. Huh. It's got to be it, though. There's no Jake Barnes. I'm just going to assume it's this one. I'm just going to assume it's this one. I'll go with the, the box on here. The Dungeon of Haro. I think I've seen this one. Yeah, give it a 1 out of 10, boys. Well, I don't throw around 1 out of 10s either. I probably give out less 1 out of 10s than I do 10 out of 10s. So, in my opinion, the movie is pretty, pretty awful if I'm giving it a 1 out of 10. The Eerie Midnight Horror Show. That is a cool title. Is it Enter the Devil? Is that what that is? Yeah, I bet you. I gave it a 2 out of 10. <laughs> um... The Embalmer, I'm pretty sure I've seen. Let me get 65. Yep. Yep. 2 out of 10. End of the world. It's the end of the world as we know it. The end of the fucking world is a pretty good show. Honestly, like, it's it's pretty decent. I don't remember much of season 2, though. Uh, is it one with Christopher Lee? Yeah. Have I seen this? I have, and I did not like it. Evil Brain from Outer Space. Not Killer Clowns. That one was fun. Is this it? Yeah. Okay, that looks... I've seen this one. I gave it a five. Must have kind of enjoyed that one. Fangs of the Living Dead. 69? Yep. I hit yes, but I don't think I've seen this one. I have seen this one. Cool. The Fatal Hour. The Fatal Hour. The Boris Karloff? That it is. Have I seen this one? I have not. 40. Fatal Hour. Frankenstein 80. I've seen this one. <laughs> um, 1972. Like I said, I, I made it through like 10 to 15 discs. I don't remember exactly where I stopped, but I made it like I made it far enough before I was like, if I don't stop, I'm going to hate film. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's only so many bad horror movies you can watch in a row till you're like, I can think of a thousand other things I would rather be doing. I'd rather be chewing on the other end of a shotgun than watch another <laughs> one of these shitty horror movies. Fury of the Wolfman. I think I've seen that one. I think I have. 72. Yeah, it's got the Paul Nietzsche or whatever the name is. Um, Fury of the Wolfman from London. Ow, werewolves of London. There he is. 
Is Wolfman supposed to be one word? Because it's not in the box. 1972. Yep. Um, the Ghost from 63 with Barbara Steele. Don't think I've seen this. There it is. I have. Okay. The Giant Gila Monster. I would want to watch that. <laughs> Do they actually use a real Gila Monster? I want to guess probably not. Not really. Cool poster again. Some of the old posters are just, just, just great. I actually have an old poster. It's in it's in this set. We'll get to it eventually. It's called Trip with the Teacher. I have an old. I'll go grab it when I get to Trip with the Teacher. We're not getting to it today. Um, the gorilla. I think I've seen that, but I'll get. I'll go grab the poster when I get to it. I don't have a frame that fits it exactly, so that's why I don't have it hung up anywhere. The the Ritz Brothers. Yeah. Okay. 1939. I don't think I've seen this. Nope. Grave of the Vampire. 72. I have seen that one. Um, Great guy. I don't know why the girls don't like me. I'm a great guy. I'm a great guy. I do great things. I'm a great guy. Uh, James Carney? Yep. Okay. It's not bad reviewed. Not seen it, but... Green Eyes. That title sounds familiar. All right, there's a couple of them. I'm assuming it's the Shirley Gray one. Yep. Well, this is a poster, and I gave this a four out of ten. This is a poster and a half. <laughs> Holy smokes. Uh, it is not good. Not good at all. Uh, I have seen this, right? Yeah. 20 uh, green eyes. Grew the Mad Monk. 1970. I had seen this, and I did not like it. Hands of a Stranger. A little bit of Stranger Danger here. 1962. Yep. Not seen it. Hands of Steel. I think I have seen this one, though. I don't think it's the 1986 one, right? Oh, shit, it is. Yeah, I've seen this one. Yeah, I remember this one. Yep, I remember this. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Honestly, like a cheesy popcorn movie. It's like one of those movies that would best serve as like a background at a drinking party kind of movie. Haunts. Is it from 76? Yep. Okay, I've not seen this one. Cool poster. I'm going to assume the mail's here. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yep, I hear the mail pulling away. Why don't dogs like mail trucks? You'd think after a while they'd just be used to it, right? They'd just be like, yeah, that's the mail guy. I know what he's up to. I've seen him before. Um, the hearse horror express. I think I actually found at a, I don't know if I own this or not on a separate DVD because I think what had happened was I found this at like a yard sale or a used place for like a buck and I bought it. And then I think I might've sold it to a friend or gave it to a friend or something, but I guess I already have it. So I'm not too, not too upset about it. You know what I mean? Horror Rises from the Tomb. But I've heard good things about this. Horror Rises from the Tomb. Yep. I watched this one too. Horrors of Spider Island. No way. I almost bought this when uh, Severn put it out. Because I like the artwork on it. But I saw the IMDb and I was like, nope. <laughs> Um, because it's a 2.6. I'm like, I'm not about to spend $30 on this. So I didn't. And now I feel like I just was rewarded for not buying it. Because apparently it's on this. House by the Cemetery. I've seen that one. If I remember right, it was like halfway decent. So I thought. So Lucio, uh, Lucio Fulci, Fulci movie. House on Haunted Hill. With Vincent Price. I don't know if I've actually seen that. See, like, there's, like, some legit stuff in here. It's not just all garbage. I think I've seen this, The House That Screamed. Actually, I feel pretty confident I have. Yep. It was like, because if I remember right, it's like, I kind of like that one. How awful about Alan? How awful about Alan? 1970. Say, this makes it look more like a Lifetime movie, this poster. <laughs> Tense psychological thriller. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, what What's next? The Hunchback of Notre Dame. The Hunback, really? So this 1939 one, <clears throat> what one is this one? 
Us along with Lon Chaney. So 1923. Pretty good rating. Two hours and 13 minutes. Easy peeps. Like the longest movie in this whole box set. What year is that from again? Crunchy bones. All right. I bury the living. 1958, right? Richard Boone. Yep. Tales of Terror. I eat your skin. <laughs> I like it. I like the title. Uh, I'm going to assume it's this one. Yeah, not very good. Not very good rating. Uh, 1971 DVD. Nope. The Incredible Petrified World. I had a hard time selling that one. Uh, I've seen this one and I didn't like it. It's a cool title though. Apparently not a cool movie. The oh, Invisible Man. How many copies of the Invisible Man am I gonna own of like different variations of the same movie? What one's this one from? It's one with Lon Chaney. What year are you from? Oh, it's the Indestructible Man. Never mind. I might have actually seen this one. Nope. Okay. Okay. Never mind. False alarm, everybody. False alarm. Invisible Ghost was underneath it, so I was just blinding the two together. 41 with Bella Lugosi. It happened at Nightmare Inn. It happened at Nightmare Inn. 73. 1973. Have I seen you? I have seen you. Kansas City Confidential. I've seen this one. Yep. I really enjoyed this one, <laughs> apparently. I was like, that one sounds really familiar. Keep my grave open. I've seen this one. Killer Shrews. Cool poster. I like the poster a lot in this one. King of the Zombies. King of the Zombies. 41. Not seen this one. Lady Frankenstein. I think I've seen Lady Frankenstein. I have not. Okay. It just sounds really familiar. Maybe I've seen, maybe like a <clears throat> boutique label put it out or something. And I've looked at it, but it sounds really familiar. Land of the Minotaur. Is it the Devil's Men? That's what Land of the Minotaur actually is. See, Land of the Minotaur. <laughs> Minotaur. Land of the Minotaur sounds way cooler than the Devil's Men. It's like back and forth. Like sometimes it's really cool on IMDb, sometimes it's cooler on the box. Last Man on Earth. The TV show was great. I really liked the TV show a lot. I thought the TV show was really good. Pretty high rating. Vincent Price, not seen it. Last Woman on Earth. <laughs> but this one doesn't have a the in it. This one came before it too. This one's also not as highly rated. The Roger Corman movie though. Legend of Bigfoot. It's the last one we're doing today. Uh, let me see who's... Okay, it's this one from 75. I have not seen it. All right. So, that is the first 100 of the... Um, of the Mill Creek 200 Tales of Terror movie collection. Uh, next Thursday, I'll do this side of the box. With some notable titles of The Little Shop of Horrors, uh, Manos to Hands of Fate, Metropolis. I didn't realize Metropolis was on this. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff. Nosferatu. Sweet, hell yeah, I didn't know if Nosferatu was on this. White Zombie. The Strangler. Um, yeah, so. We'll come back to this next week. I'm going to take a micro break and then we'll play some magic. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 